Hey there. So this is the look I'm going to be showing you guys today. It is a kind of nighttime going out um, smoky eye that's kind of good to transition from the day into the evening. You could definitely do exactly what I'm going to do. Um, skip the tight lining of your waterline. Maybe wear a nude lip for the day and then put in the black into your waterline and put on a little bit more of a fun or dark lipstick for the nighttime. So it's kind of uh, you know a look you can definitely transition from day to night. Um, it is the look I'm wearing for my birthday. I'm going out you know just to like a kind of a pubby bar atmosphere just having some munchies with friends some drinks and having a nice time so this is the look I'm going to be wearing and it's you know it's definitely not uh, this is how you have to wear your makeup for your birthday look like I said in my last uh, more daytime going out for dinner birthday look so this is just the look that I chose to do for my birthday you guys can really do whatever you want for your birthday you definitely want to stand out have some fun with your makeup and yeah if you guys want to see how this look is done definitely stay tuned so my eye is already primed with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and next I'm going to take a uh, Benefit Creases Cream Shadow and this one is in Strut. It's just kind of like a, I guess like a pewter color, just a really nice gray that has a bit of sparkle to it. I'm just going to take that onto my ring finger and I'm just going to put a very small amount down onto my lid. And then just using your finger you can kind of blend it into the crease. Now all over my lid I'm going to be using the color Copper Plate. This is one of my favorite matte colors. I absolutely love it. You can use it for crease work, your lid, anything really. Blend out colors. I just adore it. It's kind of like a just a warm gray. So I'm going to pat that all over my lid where I put that Creaseless Cream Shadow. And this is a matte color, so by putting down that uh, Creaseless Cream Shadow, you'll still be able to see a little bit of the uh, sparkle and sheen through the copper plate, which is kind of nice. It won't just be fully matte. Now using a pencil brush like the MAC 219, I'm going to go into the color print. You could also use typographic, any sort of dark or medium tone gray will work. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus that right onto my lash line, just tapping the color. And um, I like using this pencil brush because although you know you can get precision with it, you can also lay it on its side and get a bit of a thicker line, which will really help create that uh, smoky effect. So just place the color down and then you can kind of move the brush upward a bit and get the two colors to blend. And then whatever's left on that brush, you could also get more product if you want. Just smudge underneath your lower lash line and I'm going to go just shy of halfway. Now to blend out this look, you can go into any sort of um, browns you have. You could also use a lighter gray if you want. I just like using browns because I feel like it really warms up that smoky eye, makes it a little bit more wearable. Uh, so you can use like a soft brown or a wedge or cork, anything like that works. And I'm just taking one of those colors onto a 217 and I'm going to not go into my crease but kind of you know just above my crease so it'll really blend out that look and also bring a lot of warmth to your brow bone here. Now I'm going to go into the color brulee using my MAC 227 brush and I'm just going to highlight with that color very skin tone no shimmer no sheen just really natural highlight color and then I'm also going to go into the color Shroom. This is one of my favorite highlight colors, all over lid colors. I use this for a lot of different things. And I'm just going to take it onto a small um, shader brush like the 242 and I'm just going to hit my inner tear duct with that just to bring some brightness to your eyes. Now you can go ahead and line your eyes and I'm going to be using my Urban Decay ink for eyes. I kind of refound this. I hadn't used it for a little while and I don't know why I stopped using it because I really really love it and I equally as much love the brush that it comes with. It's um, I don't know just the brush really works great for the product. Once your eye is lined I'm just going to take an ankle brush like the 208 and carbon just a matte black eyeshadow and press it over top of that liner just to set it and then also kind of go 
just over top of where that liner ends just to also give your liner that smoky look to go along with this smoky eye. So I'm going to tight line my upper waterline and also put um, liner into my lower waterline as well using my Steel Eye Cordial in Onyx. I'm going to put on mascara and then I'll show you what's on the rest of my face. So for my cheeks, I decided to do something a little bit more bright. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up just how fun this blush is, but it is my Hello Kitty blush in Tippy. Any sort of bright pink will totally work though, so you can really do whatever you want with your cheeks when it comes to a smoky eye though. You can go more of the plum mauvey family, you can do pinks, you can do more of like the more neutral tanny colors. So you can really wear whatever you want on your cheeks, you don't have to wear the pink like I did. And then for my lips, although this smoky eye can definitely be worn in the day, it's not as um, super dark as a lot of smoky eyes can get. It's a little bit more of a wearable, I guess you could say, smoky eye. Um, but because I am wearing this look out for my birthday and it's, you know, nighttime and it's in a darker pub kind of uh, bar atmosphere, I'm going to be wearing a darker lipstick. And this is it right here. It's really gorgeous. I love it. It's called Riveting. It's from the Riveting collection. It's the only thing I bought from that collection. And I really like it because you can put it on quite sheer and it gives, you know, color to your lips but not being too dark yet. Or you can put a little bit more on. Sorry, it's totally hard to talk with while putting lipstick on. So you can totally put it on darker. And then it kind of gives a little bit of a more vampy feel without wearing actually lipstick that is super, super dark. On me, I don't find this lipstick uh, really dark at all. I think it gives me color to my lips and gives a little drama to my lips, but without wearing like a, you know, really dark purple or anything like that. So I really do love this lipstick. So if you want, you can definitely go ahead and put on uh, some lip gloss over this lipstick as well. It is a glaze formula, so it's moisturizing and it's got shine to it already. You don't have to if you don't want to. I have worn this lipstick with lip gloss, and I kind of prefer to wear it with a pink. I feel like it just kind of warms up the lipstick and also tones it down a bit if this lipstick is a little, you know, too dark for you. I don't find it too dark for me, but that's just my personal opinion. So that is the finished birthday look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all really soon. Bye.